that's ionic, which is um, shows the only soluble strong electrolytes reacting and omit the specter ions, which go through the reaction unchanged. Right now, we're using the equation of copper two sulfates mixed with silver nitrate yields. So, Cu, which has a positive two charge, and SO4, uh, which has a negative two sulfate, plus silver, Ag, which has a positive one, and NO3 nitrate, which has a negative one, then you change it by a double reaction by putting, like, switching the um, negative charges with the other positive charges, which is now Cu copper positive 2 with um, negative 1 um, nitrate, which is NO3, which you add the 2 because of the positive 2 copper and the negative 1 charge, which will um, equalize. Yeah. And plus Ag silver positive 1 charge and SO4 sulfate, which has a negative 2 charge, and Ag has two more silvers because of the positive 1 with the negative 2 charges. And then when you balance them, um, you just have to put the 2 in front of the Ag. So it's now Cu, 2, um, two 1 Cu's, 2 um, 1 SO4 sulfates, and right now with the 2 Ag, or silver, and 1, well, 2 NO3, which is nitrate. And um, we use um, aqueous, we found out um, CuSO4 is aqueous, um, or liquid, and eight, um, two Ag and O3, which is aqueous, and then Cu and O3, two, which is aqueous, liquid, and Ag2, SO4, which is a solid. To make the net ionic equation, you would add the copper, which, which would be one, plus one sulfate, plus the two silvers, plus the two nitrates, which yields one copper, two nitrates, and the solid, uh, solid, uh, two silvers, and one sulfate, which gives us the ionic equation, sulfate plus two silvers yields the two silvers and sulfate like, and to get that, you had to cancel out both the coppers on both sides of the equation and the two uh, nitrates on both sides of the equation to, to make the ionic equation of what I said before. Sulfate plus two silvers equal two silvers and sulfate.